Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flaws. Today in this video, we are going to be doing a video on negative voltage regulators. Let's get into it. So here's the voltage regulator. Very similar to when I did my first video. There'll be a link in the description down below. But here, we have a different pinout. So pin number one is ground. Pin number two is input. Pin number three is output. So this is a, for the num numbering, this is 79. That is, means indicates it's a negative voltage regulator in 05. We'll be doing a uh, future YouTube video on how to make a negative voltage supply, but right now we're just going to be focusing on the negative voltage regulator. So, 05, similar, similarly with the positive voltage regulator, it will show that it will put out negative 5 volts. So, let's wire this up. So here we have the circuit all breadboarded up, starting from the pin on the left. The first pin is ground, the middle pin, that's the input, and the last third pin there, the first one to the right, is output. So, we can measure our voltage input, put the positive here, and go. So the input is 12.60 volts. The output is 5.46 volts. So, this is a negative voltage regulator. So now, we'll view the signal on the oscilloscope. So now we're going to scope the uh, negative output on the oscilloscope screen here. We'll turn on the power supply. There we go. And you can see there's something weird there. I'll zoom in a little bit there. And you see that? Why is that like that? So I'm going to try adding a capacitor and see what happens. See if that helps clear up the output. Here we go. Look at that. So right now I'm add a capacitor. The output this is a, it would be a 100 microfarad capacitor. And look at that. It cleans the output right up. That's pretty amazing. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time.